Hi, I'm Dr. Ted and this is Fracture Friday. So for this episode what I have for us is a actually fracture dislocation of the elbow. So in this x-ray here it's kind of an oblique and that's why I'm just showing this one x-ray because this is a ER x-ray of right after the trauma. So the patient's arm hurts so we don't really roll it around a lot once we get a good view of what's actually broken or displaced and this happens to be both. So it's a comminuted fracture of the lecronom process which is this bump on your elbow but there's also displacement or dislocation of the radial capitate joint which is between the proximal aspect of your radius at the elbow and the distal end of your humerus. There's also a fracture of the radial head. So how are we going to fix this? Well, like most stuff in orthopedics, what we do is make a skin incision and put the bones back together. This particular post-operative x-ray shows that we put a plate on the olecranon process on the proximal aspect of the ulna. There's some bone graft in there. That's what those little pieces of bone look like. Um, it's cancellous bone chips we kind of pack into the fracture when it's as common as this one happened to be. And there's also that one screw that looks like it's floating in this x-ray and that happens to be fixing the radial head fracture, which is the proximal aspect of the radius. So this uh, x-ray also shows that there's like, it's right after surgery, so there's the staples down the bottom that you can kind of see, and this patient's actually in a splint to help stabilize the elbow joint to allow this to heal a little bit before we start to move it. Um, this particular kind of fracture, I like to eventually, within a week or two, put people in a hinged elbow orthotic, which is a kind of a Velcro strap that goes around your forearm, one that goes around your, uh, the proximal aspect of your arm, around the humerus, and then it has a hinge that we can slowly open up to allow more and more motion to keep the fracture in place and allow it to heal, but also keep the elbow from getting too stiff. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hi, Dr. Ted. Thanks for sticking around after the video. If you'd like to see some more content from us, please subscribe to the channel and like this video.